Alrighty, in this video we're going to talk about how I got a Johns Hopkins Research Elective and how you can too. My name is Dr. Slayman and I'm a general surgery resident and I applied for this elective during the COVID pandemic. This was the only thing that was available to me. I was in my final year of medical school and you can only apply for this as a final year medical student. Here's the application process, it's pretty easy. Here's my application from back in the day. It was pretty basic. You put in your information, your school information, and then your school has to approve the process. Then you decide which elective you want to do, and I'm going to pick anesthesiology just as an example. You want to research prior to applying which projects you're interested in and if they're taking students, and you just do it by a quick Google search online. The reason why you want to do this is so that you don't waste time by getting a rejection and then finding a different period that you need to apply for. Full disclosure, this happened to me. I applied for an elective and I wanted to do it online. And sometimes it's harder to do things online. You might have to go in person initially and then you can extend things online. So they rejected me on that basis. I couldn't do it along with my medical school training. So I had to reapply at a later date. So you click validate, then submit. And there wasn't a formal submission process, it was literally just that. Here's my application dashboard and the acceptance letter. So you pay for the elective once you receive this acceptance letter. Here's the stuff that they send you. And then once again, you wanna be ready to go for this elective. Everything for me was very last minute. So I reckon it was the week before starting the elective when I got all of this. I'm just paying the fee. So the required training takes a while to complete, so I would suggest starting sooner rather than later, and includes things about research, so like IRB protocols, protecting people's information, things like that. And then there's like some situational things as well, so like what do you do in a natural disaster, and then what do you do if there's a shooting in the hospital, which was something completely new for me. Along with the elective, I got access to the Johns Hopkins email and this was super useful because I was able to email different programs. They tend to respond more to emails from the universities and especially in my experience, American universities tend to respond more to universities within the states rather than universities overseas. So this is another opportunity that you guys can unlock once you have access to this email. So what I got out of this rotation was an immense amount of experience. I got to network with different people. I had my name on some projects and I got involved in many projects with many different team members. The other advantage that I got was a letter of recommendation. And with all of these situations, you can cleave more opportunities out of this one opportunity that is available to you. So what I did with it, to be honest, was I asked my PI and I shadowed in clinic I shadowed in the OR, whatever experience I could get, I went and I grabbed hold of it. And I came and I, I worked later hours to make those options possible for me. Hope this video helped. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll catch you next time.